Hello world, this is Fleet Hawker 0007, and in this evening's video, I'm going to be showing you a, a method, a pretty easy and uh, reliable method, for capturing footage of planets such, as, planets such as Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars, as well as our moon, use, using a Celestron telescope. This method will enable you to either take pictures or take or video of the planets. So, there's something that's things that you're going to need. One is a USB astrophotography camera like like this one I have here. Um, this is a this is one is called Celestron Celestron Next Image 8 and uh, I will put the link to this camera on Amazon and on Amazon it costs about 100 bucks. But essentially the way this camera works is it it is it is the eyepiece goes into your telescope the camera itself I mean like <laughs> like this and then the IP the you plug the USB cord into your laptop and then you there's you use this software that comes with the camera and to record to record a video to an AVI file for those of you who don't know, AVI file is just a standard video file format. Now, <sighs> the thing is, you're going to need a Windows laptop. The software that this camera uses will not run on a Mac. If you are going to be using a, if you only have a Mac laptop, then what you're going to have to do is install Windows in a virtual machine or in a separate partition and run the software from there, which I actually have how to install Windows in a virtual machine in a separate video, so I will be linking to that video below. Anyway. So what you want to, so what you put, put the um, camera into the eyepiece area on your telescope and then connect the USB port into the USB, into the USB plug on your computer. Then, well, you know it's there when your computer makes that ding sound, meaning that's picked up. There's something connected to the uh, USB port. So you just want to open the iCap software once you've installed it. This is the program that comes on installed on that CD. So. It should come up with your camera right here, and mine says next image, and that this is what yours should say too if you bought this camera. And then click OK. And that there is a, um, and that there is actually the planet Jupiter, but the thing is it's not in focus yet, so I'm gonna go ahead, get in focus. You do have to get, you do have to get in focus. You do have to focus your telescope for the uh, camera, so which I'll go ahead and go ahead and do that right now. But that there is the planet Jupiter on my screen. Now the camera sometimes take a minute to focus, but uh, um, that is the planet Jupiter you're looking at on my computer screen from the camera picking it up through my telescope. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch to recording from my screen, so that I can show you how to operate the software correctly. So, now that now I'll show you how to, I'll get it lined up again, I'll show you how to operate, operate the software. So, camera can be a bit finicky, but... Start recording or take a picture. You just want to click, you just want to click a capture, and then if you want to take a picture, just snap this image. Then click save image. Click 
scoop it and then just save it to you wherever you want. And uh, there's our image, but now I'll show you how to film. This is a little weird actually. What you want to do is come out, go to capture, and then click pause recording. And then, and then right here is where it's going to write the video to. So right now it's writing to a folder on my computer called videos, and it's writing it as the file, and it's going to write it as the video called video.avr. So if you do want to change it, or I don't know, maybe if you want, you want to change the codec, codec. Well, you shouldn't really but if you want to uh, but if you want to uh, do that or change the file name go down here and click stop and then click this gear and then it can only record to eight it can actually uh, it can actually only record to ABI sorry about that but uh if you want you can uh Come down here to codec, and then just choose experiment with different codecs if you want. I would just recommend leaving it on this one though, but you might get maybe a, a different file size if you want to experiment with that. And uh, just click OK when you're done here. And then if you want to change what the name of the file that it writes to, or where at, or change what it saves, saves the video to on your computer, that that I actually kind of rec would recommend doing. Don't do that. When the next time you go to record footage, it could overwrite the last footage that you recorded, meaning that you'll lose that footage if you don't have it backed up somewhere. So what you now you can change the file name and or where it's going to save it to. Just click this button, then click on. Then click on. Check this one. Enable automatic file. Same generation, and then video file. What you want to do to change the name is just name it. It's just select this bit right here, video one one zero 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 one, and then change that. Oh, sorry, click this one, and just click yes here, and then and then here's where you. S where you want to save it to and then I'll just name it Jupiter because I'm doing a, a video filming Jupiter so then just click save you don't really need to change the file format because AVI is a pretty standard video video file format so yeah then just click apply and okay then to start recording Get it lined up again. You want to make sure it's live, otherwise it's not going to record. Again. And uh, if I want to, record, I want to record, then that's Jupiter, and uh, it unfortunately it's not a great shot because the atmosphere is kind of in the way of it. The atmosphere is a bit thick around Jupiter, 
but that is the plan itself and, it, and uh, I will be putting in some other footage I shot of it where with this camera with the atmosphere clear you actually can see the planet itself in the, moon, in the atmosphere so to start recording what you want to you just click this button and it's now recording I would advise to let it record for maybe like two minutes or so if can because that will give the camera more time to sort of get focused and get a clearer shot even though like I said this footage might not come out that great because the atmosphere around Jupiter is very thick right now and it's kind of, when I look at it my normal eyepiece it's pretty fuzzy so uh, I will be putting in footage that I shot earlier of the Jupiter with the camera we can see and I'll also go ahead and put in some footage of Saturn that I can pretty clearly here to see the rings too. So maybe let it record for like a minute or so, then I will show you the footage that I process it. See it's trying to focus right now. Getting that getting kind of less kind of more clear. I'm doing my best to explain everything. I'm sorry if I sound a little round-winded, but I think that's enough. I think you guys get how to do it now. So I will show you recording the moon as well. So once you're done recording, you just click stop. And then it will be automatically saved to the whatever file and wherever you set it to record to. So there's our video file right there. Then you can just open it. And there it is. Like I said, it's pretty blurry because the atmosphere around Jupiter is so thick right now. But, you know, it actually is a very good camera. So, what you're going to, you know, so now I'm going to go ahead and film the moon. I'm going to change the file name so it says the moon so it doesn't overwrite that Jupiter footage. And it's a full moon tonight, so that should be pretty interesting. And I'm going to focus my camera, my telescope on the moon. And there's the moon. Now, as you can see, because I let the camera focus a little bit, I can see the moon itself. There are the craters. And I'm going to show you, and I'm going to record this too. It's a bit weird, this is what, the way this is set up, because you have to go to pause recording and then get this, get this recording video file option to show up. Record.
and then there we go. So that's really about it for this video. I will have, have earlier footage that I thought of a Jupiter and Saturn rings uh, after this. So with that said, go back and enjoy that footage. That's about it for the actual instructions. So I hope you enjoyed. This is Fleet Hacker 007, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day. Leave a like, comment, subscribe.